Joe, what are the main findings in the statistics chapter of the Central Bank's second quarterly bulletin of 2016? Well, financing conditions continue to ease in the economy. Bond yields continue to fall and interest rates have fallen for both corporates and for the household sector. In fact, for mortgages, fixed rate mortgages for up to three years are 58 basis points lower at the end of December 2015 compared to one year earlier. What does the latest data for Ireland tell us? Well, the economic indicators are generally positive, including indicators for debt sustainability, both for the household and corporate sector. Nevertheless, credit conditions remain weak, with repayment outstripping new lending. There has, however, been an uptake in new drawdowns by the SME sector, particularly in the agriculture and real estate sectors. And in relation to mortgages? Mortgage arrears continue to decline across all maturity categories, including the over 720 days. Nevertheless, uh, the arrears in this category remain large and are a cause for concern. And what's the current trend for deposits? Deposits continue to increase, and this largely reflects sort of inflows from the household sector. Uh, this increase in deposits sort of shows a return to market-based funding for the banking sector with less reliance on euro system funding. There's a new paper called An Overview of Enhanced Interest Rates for Ireland by Central Bank staff Gavin Doheny and Roisin Flaherty. What are the main findings of it? The main findings show that levels of renegotiations are much higher in Ireland compared to other euro area countries. This reflects new products in the market and particularly shows switches from variable rate to fixed rate products which are now the lowest on offer. Secondly, the series provides information on SMEs by sector of economic activity and it shows wide variations in rates depending on the sector of economic activity in which the business operates. Among the highest rates charged are those for construction and for business services. And finally, margins between loans and deposits are significantly higher in Ireland compared to other euro area, other euro area countries. Joe, there's a new European statistics website. What can you tell us about it? Well, the link is on your screen, and this provides a much more accessible way for accessing and downloading euro area statistics, including cross-country comparisons. Mm -hmm.